Irish Red and White Setter. One of my favorite stories to tell happened when my brother was visiting. We had sat up most of the evening tossing hunting stories back and forth and listening to the TV news. One of that evening's headlines was about an inmate who had escaped from the state penitentiary, which is just about five miles from the cabin. And it's always a bit spooky when that happens, at least until they catch the criminal again. Well, it got pretty late and we finally went to bed that we were both awakened by a sound coming from the kitchen. I whispered to Bill, Did you hear that? He had, and though it had thought it sounded like the back screen door had swung open and then closed. It was a moonless night, and with all the lights out, it was pitch black. I wasn't about to turn on the lights until I had hold of my hunting rifle, which was hanging on the wall out in the living room. We could hear someone walking across the floor and going through the cupboards and drawers, digging around in our stuff. One thing for sure, we weren't going to wait until they got to the bedroom. We got up together and tiptoed into the living room. It sounded like a pretty good-sized man moving about, but every time we took a step, the wooden floor would creak and he'd stop moving. We'd all stand motionless and in complete silence for a few seconds until the intruder decided to take another step, and then we would take another step toward the gun rack. The floor would creak as before, and he'd stop again. But I could tell from the heavy breathing that with each step he was getting much closer, now in the same room as Bill and me. Once I had my rifle in hand and pointed in the direction of the intruder, I psst toward Bill to switch on the lights, and right there, standing just a couple of feet away and totally motionless, was Schnapps, my trusty red and white setter. Thank goodness I still had the safety on, because I could have shot him right then and there for causing our imaginations to get the better of us. He'd left the screen door partially ajar, opened a mess of kitchen cabinets, and moved the garbage can, but we had no clue as to why he was digging around or what he was looking for that night. Now I sleep with my rifle in the bedroom, with the safety on, of course.